Milka planning born on the 21st of November 1924 die on the 7th of October 2010, was a Croatian politician active in SFR Yugoslavia. She served as Prime Minister of the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia from 1982 to 1986, the first and only woman to hold this office. Plan Inc. was the first female head of government of a diplomatically recognized communist state in Europe. Plan Inc. began to pursue a full-time career within the League of Communists of Croatia. She specialized in education, agitation, and propaganda, and in 1959 she was elected into the Croatian Central Committee, the executive body. Having served in a variety of posts in Zagreb, as the Secretary of the People's Assembly of Trezjevka in 1957 and then the Secretary of Cultural Affairs of the City of Zagreb in 1961, she became the Secretary of the City of Zagreb League of Communists Committee and the Secretary for Education of the Socialist Republic of Croatia in 1963, a position in which she remained until 1965. Greater party acknowledgement did not come until 1966 when she was elected into the Presidium of the League of Communists of Croatia, LCC, and then to the Executive Committee of the LCC in 1968. She served as the President of the Assembly of the Socialist Republic of Croatia 1967-1971. After the events of Croatian Spring, the leadership of LCC was removed, and Plan Inc. became president of the Central Committee in 1971. She made the decision to arrest Franjo Tudman, Marko Veselica, Drajan Badiza, Saim Dodon, and Vlado Godovac, among others, who had all participated in the Croatian Spring. She remained the leader of the League of Communists of Croatia until 1982. When Tito died in 1980, he left a plan for a rotation of eight leaders, with a leader coming from each federal unit in turn. On April 29, 1982, the Federal Conference of the Socialist Alliance of the Working People of Yugoslavia approved a list of ministers submitted by Plan Inc., and on May 15, 1982 a joint session of the National Assembly's two houses named her head of the Federal Executive Council, thus she became Prime Minister. She became the first woman to occupy such a high post in the country's 64-year history. Plan Inc. had a new governmental body, the Federal Executive Committee, and it consisted of 29 members. All of the members of this committee were new, except for five that were members of the old committee. He would serve as the President of the Federal Executive Council, Prime Minister, of Yugoslavia, a post equivalent to Prime Minister, between 1982 and 1986. Her mandate as Prime Minister was remembered as the times when the government finally decided to regulate external debt of SFR Yugoslavia and to start to pay it back. In order to achieve necessary means, her cabinet implemented restrictive economic measures for a few years. The 1974 constitution had left the central government with very little authority, as the power was divided into the separate republics. Planning tried to refocus the central government and gain international alliances with visits to Britain, the United States, and Moscow. Though her visits to Washington gave her promises of economic support, her visit to Moscow was said to be with nothing lost, and nothing gained. Plan Inc. offered her resignation in October 1985, but this was not accepted. On February 12, 1986 Plan Inc.'s government submitted a request to the International Monetary Fund for Advanced Surveillance. The request was approved a month later. Her term ended in May 1986, and before long she became a member of the LCY Central Committee. Later Life Planning spent the rest of her time living through Yugoslav wars with the collapse of communism in Europe. In 1993 her husband died, and in 1994 her son Zoran committed suicide. From the late 1990s until her death, Plan Inc. was wheelchair-bound and rarely left her home. She resided in Zagreb until her death on October 7, 2010, aged 85. She was interred at the Zagreb's Mirogoj Cemetery. Thanks for watching Herdery Channel. Don't forget to like the video.